clash for those of you watching in black and white but Queen's Park Rangers are wearing the dark socks the pictures hung from Granada the commentators Gerald Sinstat we take it up in the second half husband to Newton first intercepted by Mancini Venables didn't quite carry to Thomas Garacott to Newton Coughlin's made it and is being handed off by Hazel. The referee has given the free kick. Well, they've gone to take the corner and the corner's been given. Well, that at least was a save by the goalkeeper from Joe Royal. Venables. Venables control lets him down. Header by Gibbons. Passed back to his goalkeeper. Connolly. Lions. And senior away. And Thomas. Dear oh dear oh dear. Daracott. Royal to Connolly. And they head up by Lyons and it's in. So youngsters off the pitch, please. Come on, off the pitch, lads. Off the pitch, please. A really superb goal. The ball comes out to Connolly, and it's a very good hard cross he hits and a magnificent diving header by Lyons. Parks did well to get his hands to it, but he couldn't keep it from going into the net. So it was that Everton won by one goal to nil. And Everton now have pushed nine players forward for this corner. Only Bernard has hung back, and even he is in an attacking position. In fact, they've got 10 forward now. Latchford. Oh, yes! Lyons. Nick Lyons, the scorer. Connolly. Following Jim Pearson's opener, local boy Mick Lyons made his bid for glory here. This goal was the first of two for the defender in a fourth-round tie against Plymouth. Lyons spent 11 seasons with his beloved Everton and always gave everything for the club. This goal helped the team progress to the fifth round and a meeting with Fulham. Everton's third goal and Mick Lyons' second to ensure victory for the visitors at Plymouth. Despite being a defender by trade, Lyons had played up front in his early career and the experience showed as he raced forward past the home defenders to fire home a low shot. Lyons made a career total of 445 appearances for Everton and the faithful fans will say that every one counted.
No one was more committed to the Goodison cause than local boy Mick Lyons. Despite playing as a central defender, Lyons came through the junior ranks as a centre forward and he could still get into scoring positions when it mattered. In this third round tie, Lyons latching on to an Andy King flick to volley home to open the scoring for the home side. Gray, who worked for a frozen food company, and he really should feel at home in this weather. So Arsenal kick off wearing their chain strip of yellow jerseys and the dark blue shorts. The big problem for both sides today, this strong, gusting wind, which is behind Everton's backs in the first half. Gidman. Oh, he still got there before. Devine and Jennings had to be quick and brave. The danger's still not gone as Devine plays it straight to Billy Wright. Offside given. Jennings then saw the danger quicker than anybody else and reacted to it splendidly. Ratcliffe. Wright. He's got Bailey wide on the left. Could cross that by Bailey, curling it in. It breaks to McBride. Easto. The Rodney shot was deflected for a corner. O'Leary saw the danger then as the ball dropped for Varadi, who did well to shoot from that position. And it was O'Leary's block which sent the ball spinning for an Everton corner. Sansom. And it's sensible to run with the ball in these conditions. Hollins. Devine has gone wide on his right. Stapleton. Frank Stapleton, who was in defence moments ago. So both Willie Young and David O'Leary coming forward for this Arsenal free kick. Could reach Young too, it has. Stapleton underneath it. Getting got the shot in. And only just wide. Well, the danger then came from Willie Young's header from the rich free kick. It went down to that crowd of players and Everton couldn't get it clear. Getting snapshot in the end was very close to giving Arsenal the lead. Easto. McMahon getting away from Gatting, and not a bad effort either. Well, as the free kick was played into that area just in front of the Arsenal goal, it was a beautiful turn by McMahon away from the tackle, and his shot swung, swung just wide of the Arsenal net. Young, usually the target man, number six in your picture. Young again. Oh, and McDonough did well then. The corner flighted over, swerving in the wind. Young didn't really get much power with that header, but the direction was good, and McDonough did well to get right behind the ball. McMahon, Berardi. Back again to McMahon. Well, this youngster can really hit the ball. Good build up that by Everton. And when the return ball was played into space, McMahon made the most of it with that right foot shot. A lot of jostling for position on the near post. A good firm header away by Ratcliffe. With a break for Varadi, O'Leary in the way. Garani shot! Well, Arsenal thought the danger had gone when they finally got the ball clear from that corner. But as it was played back into space for Emery Varadi, he beat O'Leary's challenge and clipped his shot only just wide. Bailey. Oh, Sansom has given it straight to McBride. 
the long ball from the left looked easy for Kenny Sansom, and he brought it down well, but then played it straight into the path of Joe McBride, who shot rather hurriedly in the end. He had more time than I think he realised, and the result was that Arsenal get a goal kick. And Everton ready to make a substitution. Imri Berardi will be the man to come off, and Mickey Lyons, the club captain and Everton's longest-serving player, who can play in almost any position, but will obviously go up front. And a final throw by Gordon Lee to try and win this game in the last quarter of an hour. Crowd of just over 34,000, and considering Liverpool are also at home, just a mile away from here, that's a good gate. Right with the clearance. McMahon, lovely through ball from McBride. Young coming across quickly. Lyons is in the centre. And Sam has turned it into his own net. And with six minutes to go, Everton have taken the lead. Arsenal must have thought they'd survive, but they were caught by the speed of that Everton counter-attack. McMahon stabbed it through. McBride looked for Lyons in the middle. And as Sansom came across trying to clear, he turned the ball into his own net. Everton won. Arsenal nil. And Arsenal throwing on Brian McDermott as a late substitute. And really now up against it. Lions. Cross. Everton full of spirit now. O'Leary. Lions! It's gone in! No! The linesman is flagging, but the referee has given the goal! And John Bailey was so delighted that he lifted the referee on high. But wait a moment. The linesman can't decide. Well, Everton players congratulating each other, but the linesman has kept his flag raised. The referee has gone across to check with him and has still given the goal. And there's no doubt about that one. Nicky Lyons, the scorer. And Everton are through to the fourth round. In the 90th minute, Everton's persistence paid off. A good build-up, and Lyons stabbed the ball towards goal. Even the desperate challenge on the goal line couldn't keep it out. And although Arsenal claimed that it hadn't crossed the line, the referee, after consulting with his linesman, said it did, and that's the end of the match. And what a finish that was. Gordon Lee disappears back to the Everton dressing room. Kenny Sanson holds his head. Having got the deflection which set Everton on the road to victory, Mickey Lyons got that second goal, though Arsenal still arguing that it didn't cross the line. And it's given us a storming finish to this cup tie. And a final scoreline at a joyous Goodison Park. Everton 2, Arsenal 0.